Okay, whenever you're ready. Hi, my name is Alana, and I'm in Agnon in fourth grade, and I'm going to do the laundry to to show what happens in the washing machine process for my discovery project for school. So, I have two pieces of clothing. One has a stain on it. I'm going to start by squirting the stain. And then the bottle says to rub it. warm, 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 cold, and cold, cold. This shirt needs, I checked on the tag, and this shirt needs warm, warm water. Now for the speed. There are four buttons here. Regular fast, regular slow, gentle slow, and gentle fast. I'm going to change it to regular slow. And now, I'm, this is the place where you choose the size of your load. I have it on small because there are only two things being washed. Say I had it on large. To change it, I would go up to reset right here and then down to small. Now, I push and turn, push and turn this, and here is regular fabrics. Since these are not permanent press, I can go to regular fabrics, and since they aren't delicate, I turn it to around uh, t 10 or 8. Now, I pull it out, and the water starts falling in. Now, I'm going to add the soap. start to agitate. This is the agitator. When I I'm about to close it and the sound it makes is the sound of it agitating. This is a picture of it agitating. The agitator spins around Sloshes around the clothes inside. Now, the soapy water has been spun out and it's refilling with just plain rinse water. This is what it looks like. It will continue 
doing this until it reaches around the same level. Then it will agitate again. This is what the second draining cycle where it drains the rinsed water. This is after the um, second filling cycle and the second agitating cycle. It's, take, it's currently spinning to get all the water out. This is the dial. Here we see the arrow is no longer pointing towards the eight, but all the way up here towards the spin. This means that it's nearing the end of the cycle. It moves throughout